Hi guys, Nathan here from JS Power Sports. Just gonna cover the installation of a few things today. We're gonna go over uh, taking off the factory air cleaners, putting on some crash air adapters, some hot products air cleaners for it, and then the outerwear's pre-filters for them as well. And while we're in there, we'll talk about the um, soft throttle springs and how, hopefully have time to go into some uh, carburation issues too. We're gonna start by removing these Allen head screws right around the air filter tops. Now we're going to loosen up the screw right here on the end of the throttle wheel after we remove the throttle cable by simply twisting this forward and sliding this out. I've already loosened a few of these things up to make this go a little faster here. Careful you don't drop this down inside. Now we're going to remove the old spring. These are a little tricky. You got to press down and pull this outward. And there's that out. Don't lose the plastic piece on here. You'll need that. These are a little tricky to get on. Take a little muscle work. We're going to slide this on like this and then get this kind of lined up with a little bit of pretension on it and slide it on. Okay, so this is a little tricky, but get this lined up correctly. Make sure you're not 180 degrees out, and then this should all slide on together. Keep your throttle out of the way. There we go. Your tension's with the spring underneath here. You're gonna let this up now, and it should, go, it should fall into the groove. That's right there. And then just check the top. for the operation here. Make sure you're not 180 degrees out. That's correct. Now we'll replace the throttle wheel. And then carefully put the nut on here without dropping it down inside the hole. Because that's always fun trying to find. And then we'll snug these up here in just a minute. Now we're going to put the, the new flame arrestor adapters on by zipping this. If you're careful and it's your first time, you may be able to reuse these top gaskets. If they look damaged in any ways, I would recommend replacing them. And then we'll snug these up with a socket here in a second. And then you'll need to loosen these, the screw up here, and then your filter will go right on the top there. Once that's done, we're going to peel off the inside of this filter, pre-filter material at the top. Some of them have um, plastic during the manufacturing process that needs to be removed. And then we'll be putting that all the way over here so to keep the 